Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a hot minute since I've been on here. Um, a couple weeks ago, I blew a hole in my transmission in my Jeep. And for my job, I travel around doing home care and hospice. So I had to focus on getting a new vehicle like in two days. <sighs> Pain in the butt. And then last weekend I went away and this week I've been busy catching up on housework. It's been nice out. So I have gone back to walking, trying to get back into my healthy eating on Weight Watchers. In the last two weeks between the stress and the diet, I've lost 14 pounds. So I'm not complaining, but I'm going to start vlogging some of that probably like once a week. I'm not going to stop doing Dollar General. I just want to add some more stuff to my channel. And I actually, when I started my channel, was more focused on weight loss stuff and some couponing, and I kind of slowly changed it into mostly couponing. So I'm going to try once a week, and I know I said it like a few months ago, to start vlogging like what I eat in the days, but I'm going to start doing that hopefully within the next few weeks, if everything stays calm. So I haven't even been into a Dollar General really, maybe once or twice in the last few weeks. But today I was like, I'm going to go do a haul. I got some time. So I'm going to share that with you. I found some pennies. But first, like I always start off, um, coupons for this week coming out in the paper. I glanced through them real quick. We have a save. It's got like some allergy coupons in it since allergy season's coming. Nothing really exciting. Some Renews It coupons, a dollar off of all. Um, then we have a smart source. You have a little kid. They got um, some $2 off pull-ups. Airwick coupons, Claritin coupons. Um, you can always go to the web um, Google in your Google browser coupon ad preview. Then you don't go to the store and buy it for no reason. Um, I did see in here, though that there was a Dollar General um, ad and Tide's going to be $2.95 next week with our coupon and I really like Tide, so yay for that. All right, trying to keep things in order in this new car so I don't have like Dollar General stuff everywhere. So the first thing I got, now I always base my breakdowns off of what I need that this week or what I want to stock up on and you know me. Total toilet paper fanatic. Always got to be getting it. So the Cottonell is $5. We have a $1 digital. And if you're new to couponing at Dollar General, these are all digital coupons you can find in your Dollar General app. And before I forget, if you get Cottonell products, make sure you're scanning your receipt on Fetch. I believe until July 1st, if you spend $30, like cumulative over time, you get 3,000 points, which is $3. Um, this scanned for, I want to say like 50 points, but it also went towards my purchase, towards the Cottonelle. So $5, $1 digital. If you don't have Fetch, I will link my referral code in the description box below. And when you scan your first receipt, I think you'll get 2,000 points. Next. I did the gain flings, always looking to get gain in my transactions if I can because it's a big reseller on Facebook Marketplace. These are $3.95. We have a dollar digital. Then I checked the Pantene. It is still glitching. It is $5 off three products of Pantene, but the coupon is meant for regular size. It is working on the shampoo and conditioner. I did get one shampoo and two conditioner and people are probably like, well, what do you want the small ones for? I find when I go away for a weekend or travel, these are great just to pack in your suitcase. Um, and you don't have to worry about bringing a big bottle and it blowing up everywhere. You can put these right in a Ziploc baggie and put them in your suitcase. These are a dollar 50 a piece, which would be four fifty all together. And we have a $5 digital that is coming off and it is giving you that 50 cents overage. I want to say, don't go in the store and just buy these and put your coupon in because they can't give you back money. So if you bought these just separately, they would technically, it would say it owes you 50 cents. You can't do that. They're not supposed to give you back money. They will get in trouble. So just Put them with something like a five off of 25 um, to bring down your total. Next, 
I got the Bilk Bic Silky Touch. I went over to my razor section. They were not in there. I found them over by my clearance in one of those cardboard um, displays. These are $3. You get 12 of them. And we have a $2 digital, making them only a dollar. So it's a great filler item. Do I love these razors? Heck no. Do they cut my legs? Heck yes. Do I know people who will use them? Yes. So I just give them to them. Next, I wanted to try out some of the Crest coupons. Ooh. So I went with getting four of them. These are the Crest Baking Soda and Peroxide White 5.7 ounce. They're $2 a piece. And I got four of them. Now, we have a coupon for $6 off of four. So I figured that was what was going to come off. I, I thought maybe where there were so many Crest coupons, it might pull your lower value coupon off first. And it didn't because we had a two off of one, but it pulled the three off, the $3 one instead of the six. So I did pay three more dollars than I wanted to. Um... But I didn't end up paying that much. Well, let me just show you real quick the pennies I got with it. In case you're, I was looking in my clearance section. And these are the Legs Trouser Socks. Now, I don't wear these. I don't know people who wear these. I may try to resell them. If anyone has any ideas with what to do with these, feel free to leave it in the comments below. So I got... These are the ones one size black. I'll show you... It probably isn't going to show up. Okay, the UPC. I'll read it to you. 92503262206. But check your clearance section. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. And then I also got the ones in purple, the foot covers. These wouldn't be bad if you had like shoes that you wanted just not to rub on your feet. The UPC is 92503-25429. Check clearance. Now there are other ones in there with like a peach color and a blue color are not ringing up a penny. It's these ones. Oh, forgot a part of my transaction. I got the Penelin Max Aromas. These are in the dollar aisle. So they're $1 a piece and I had a $1.25 off coupon off too. I haven't tried this. Has anyone tried this? I'm always down for getting cleaning products, so we'll give it a try, especially for 75 cents for two. We're good. And then the last penny I found was this Shimmer and Shine necklace. It's just a little necklace I found in the toys. Um, a lot of the little jewelries are ringing up a penny, so check there. All right. I haven't thoroughly confused you yet. So everything that was part of my transaction was everything. You'll hit your 25 without getting any of these pennies that I showed you. Now, my total came to, with the pennies, $8.39, which is a savings of $18.17, which you really can't be mad about. Um, the thing is, it should have been like $5.20, but that Crest coupon did not work as I thought it would. Um, but $8.20 still isn't bad for all this stuff, especially where you're still saving $18.17. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for me. Last week, my coupons did not load on Sunday to my account. I did not get them till Monday. If I went on the Dollar General website, then I could see them, but it's too hard to do that in store and do a video. So hopefully they will load tomorrow and I can get you a video out, um, tomorrow or Monday. I really would like it if everything went smoothly and they loaded tomorrow. Um, all right. Have a great weekend. Have a great time shopping and I will talk to you all later.